Starry Hilder in her off-grid bathroom next to the Campos toilet. Ooh, yeah, where we do number one and number two. And look, I dressed up for the occasion. Mm -hmm. It seems like this is Campos toilet week. And gotta talk about it because we've been living off the grid for quite a while now. And we have been composting our own human manure. Yeah, and in fact, <laughs> when I go to work, this is so cute, when I go to work and I bring something in like zucchinis or tomatoes, I'll have my friends at work who know I compost our own waste. They'll say, starry, starry, as they're eating the, the zucchini or the cucumber. Uh, just out of curiosity, uh, did that human manure stuff that you talk about, you know, your number one, number two, that you put in a bucket and then you compost it outside, did this just happen to go into that garden area? Oh, um, and, and, and now I'm eating, the, I'm eating the spoils of that. Yeah, they get nervous. They get nervous, and rightfully so, because at one time, years ago, when we lived on the grid and I flushed my waste down the toilet, I would have never imagined a compost toilet and, and it creating rich organic, you know, soil. Uh, a, a compost that we could actually use in our garden and create, poof! Beautiful, beautiful plants and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But you can do it. And Joseph Jenkins actually is the guru, the godfather of this whole concept. And when we found him and we got his book, we were, we were like, yes, yes, the guy gets it. Water, valuable. You know, we spend 24 gallons of water a day to flush our waste down the toilet. And if we think about it, because I used to be the same thing, you know, I was the same way. You know, when you turn on your faucet, oh, you know, where, where does the water come from? Oh, well, you just pay the bill, right? Flush your toilet, ah, you know, where does it go? Some, some place, sanitation place, where they're dumping chemicals into it, recycling it, and putting it back into our sink. Yeah, right, yeah, you know. We don't think about it. And this is the consequences of living in a society like that. We're running out of water. So that's why many people who are waking up and want to become more self-sustainable, they're getting compost toilets or they're having this as a backup plan, an emergency system. And then there's just people who are going off the grid and just, we've got a two bucket system. It's just me and him. Uh, so we don't need all those buckets. I don't want to take a challenge. And the composting management is the same across the board. It really is. So I didn't want to get into how we compost because, you know, that's already been there, done that. But what I wanted to address now, that the, the discussion is open, is, for those of you who used to be like me, really talking about the difference between a flushing toilet and a compost toilet and why this is so great. Yeah, making you see the benefits of a compost toilet and, and things that you, you won't think of. And I'll guarantee if we take this challenge, the compost toilet is going to beat the flushing toilet every time. Yeah, you don't believe this right now. I know you don't. I know you don't. But we're going to get to it right now, and we're going to do the, the list. And I want you to compare it at the end of this video. I want a, I want a grade. I want a grade. And I, 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 if I was a betting woman, I'll grade that I'm going to get Okay, number one, here's the challenge. Smell. Uh, when you go to the bathroom in your conventional flushing toilet bathroom, I bet you got to deal with smell. And how do you deal with the smell? Well, you know, we buy Glade fresheners and Febreze. And think about that, how unhealthy it is. And it is. I'm coming from a nursing standpoint to breathe in those chemicals because that's what we're, we're doing. We're spraying chemicals into the air so we don't smell our number one and number two, right? Well, with a compost toilet, I'm telling you, this natural organic way really works. We don't have any smell. In fact, what we do with our compost toilet is we take that organic material, sawdust or peat moss or whatever you're using, and right away we just cover it. We cover it. There's no smell. There's, I don't have to put out burning scented candles and essential oils and try to make this smell like some type of... We, we save a lot on cover sprays and it helps our health all right and then number two when you flush your toilet and i remember living on the grid what are we doing it, you know we flush your toilet there's a little bit of mist that goes in the air and then there's condensation in the summertime around the base of the the toilet and and you know what are we cleaning with bleach lysol more chemicals it, it 
You know, believe it or not, flushing toilets are not that clean. But my bucket system, the only thing I have to clean up is the sawdust. And you'll see the saw sawdust, sawdust, natural organic sawdust. Nothing else. This system is clean, contained. There is no condensation. There is no mist from flushing the toilet. And ugh, I go into conventional bathrooms now and I get grossed out. I really I get grossed out. So there you go, see? You're loving this already. Okay, now let's go outside and I'm gonna give you even some more <laughs> things that you're gonna like about this toilet. The other benefit, as I walk out here to my pretend septic that doesn't use any water. <laughs> no septic, no septic. There it is, right there. This is our compost center, right here, for free. <laughs> Didn't, no digging, no excavation, no permits, no, no septic driver coming every six months to pump the septic, no paying him ongoing, and again, no more wasting of valuable water. See, aren't you loving this off-grid life? See, there's a method to our madness. And there it is. The next benefit, it's cheap. See this? Buckets. How much does a bucket cost? A five gallon bucket? Probably not $13,000. <laughs> nope, all you need is some buckets. The next benefit, it's portable. Look at this, this is a portable potty. See, you can take your bucket and compost your waste anywhere. So it's great for emergency situations, it's great for camping, it's great for the off-grid cabin where you don't wanna maybe do an outhouse. It's portable. Liking this, aren't ya? And as we go back into the bathroom, the one thing I want you to notice is there's no mechanical parts to our toilet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you flush the toilet on, in your conventional toilet, you ever get the problem with where the jiggler, you got to jiggle, 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 and, and it doesn't shut off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. You know, I've had that happen before. Or you flush and it gets plugged. Uh, or you have to call the septic guy or the plumber, whoever you call to fix, fix it. This, this will never break. It'll, it'll never break. So no mechanical parts. And the other benefit, okay, we already talked about this, but it is a benefit, the no water. The only water that we use at all is minimal to clean our buckets. Just a little bit of water. So the water conservation is huge, huge, huge. And again, in a world where water is disappearing, the value of that is beyond priceless. It is liquid gold. So save the planet. Compost your own human waste. Next benefit, this is something that your toilet doesn't do, right? You can't create a garden like this. No, not from a conventional <laughs> flushing toilet. No way, Jose. But this is where our compost goes. Yep, right here. And this is what it creates. Rich, healthy looking vegetables and plants with sustainable soil. Mm. You're liking this, aren't you? I, I, I got you convinced. I really do. You're getting there. All right. Are you getting it? You see the benefits. And, and when you really think about it in terms of flushing versus composting, it is a real win-win situation, especially for us people who live off the grid. Okay, my friends, I hope, I hope this gives you another view, another attitude, another perception on the whole human manure composting. It really is kind of groovy, isn't it? I, I bet you I sold you. You're going to go buy that five-gallon plastic bucket, aren't you? <laughs> go do it. All right. God bless. Thanks for coming along and watch this week. There's going to be another video on off-grid sanitation. Keep tuned in because this is important stuff. It really is. All right. God bless.